got yeah, Byron in second arms. place. Whoa, and you're out. Welcome to the Whistler Longboard Festival. I'm breaking Striker Lions. There's blood all over the road. Carnage. You're watching Push Culture News. Welcome to Push Culture News. My name is Brian Davenport. Thank you for joining us here at the 2012 Whistler Longboard Festival. It's the second year of the event and certainly one of the best on the circuit. Now to James Kelly and the Narpographer 3000 for a breakdown of the course. And hey, we're back in action. Mic'd up. Whistler 2012. Crew, Kelly killing it. Kelly. We're off. Whistler 2012 pushing in practice day. Saturday. First corner's pretty sweet. Got a nice little pack. And we're off. Try to grip it through the lefty. Come out wide, don't lose any speed. Nice, everyone's hauling in this corner. It's gonna be blast. Yeah, Chance, killing it. Dude, Deegan, Louis Polony. Yeah, dude. Yeah, Larry. Hell yeah, dog. Guess what? Came out a little wide there. A little waterfall here. We got a pack behind us. Everyone's killing it. Corner's rad. And bam, yeah, we nice little waterfall lefty. Catch a second apex right here, it's sick. And it's fucking righty, it's still. Oh! Chance, catch some dog. The last corner. Oh yeah, and we're done. That's the course, folks. It's an awesome track. Good Cali run. Yeah, really. Yeah, chance. Yeah, Jimmy. Culture News, Whistler Longboarding, Top 16, oh my god! Now, 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 now
Finally made a final heat. Open class. About time. This is it. Okay, this is the finals. Whistler Longboarding Festival, this is the finals. Whistler Longboard Festival. Oh boy, I really gotta go to the bathroom, but I'm not gonna go. No way. I don't wanna miss this. And we got Whipperman. Whipperman's been having a really good year, man. I mean, he's like, I'm going, I'm gonna go for Whipperman again. Whipperman's been doing really good this year, and sooner or later that guy's gonna win one, so I'm gonna say, well, I think Whipperman, honestly, I think he'll get second. Okay, I'm the best. Kevin Reimer is the best. I mean, you can never count out K. Reim. He is the best, but he got the best against James Kelly, the American Dream, the defending champion. And then you got Andrew from Ontario, another guy that he's always been getting seconds and seconds and thirds. If Andrew from Ontario riding for Land Yachts, if he, he, he takes this, this is going to be huge for that guy. He could really use that a podium. I don't know, Andrew's never won a big race, I don't think. Has he? Correct me if I'm wrong. But little Whipperman, something about him. He's riding the Evo, the Landyas Evo. And that's, that's the board I ride. I love it. And not many riders ride the Evo anymore. I don't know why. They're all top mount, all cool dudes riding top mounts now. Here we go, Andrew Chapman and Whipperman coming up for him. We are Whistler, Long Boy Festival with the big grin on his face. Well, Chapman wins it all. We win second place. Whoa! I almost got smoked. Holy moly. Welcome to Whistler, the Long Boy Festival. I'm Bryson Stryker Live. It was an exciting finish. We're here with Andrew Chapman, who just won the Whistler Long Boy Festival. Congratulations, Andrew. How was the ride? Uh, it was fun. Yeah, it was uh, a little hectic, but uh, I stayed out of the crazy traffic and kept it clean. I pretty much wanted to be last off the push and I just watched people tangle up and made up opportunities where I could. I got Max in a right hand corner which I feel really comfortable in is passing in righties and just yeah kept it clean. Congratulations Andrew. Thanks man. <laughs> Appreciate it. So there you have it, the 2012 Whistler Longboard Festival, a huge success. Congratulations again to Andrew Chapman on his first major Canadian title. You've been watching Push Culture News. I'm Brian Davenport. If you have not yet, please subscribe to our channel at pushculturenews.com. Whistler Longboard Festival. Whistler, the whisper and won't you answer the call? The course is real steep and then it gets real turny. Stick to your lines or you'll wind up in a gurney.